So that's a pretty common misconception. And don't worry, I'll like, I'll get to that in one sec. I would actually just like to take that and divide up like, so biochar isn't biochar because it has had nutrients added to it. That's not what makes it biochar. And even that, like the jury's kind of still out on what it, biochar is, what charcoal is, what activated carbon is, but the current running consensus, while this is all still being decided by the powers that be, which is all of just all of us who use the terms, right? Um, so charcoal is just made at lower temperatures in an oxygen-free environment, roughly 400 degrees Celsius. Um, and that leaves some of the volatile organics still in there so that when you cook with it, there's a pleasant aroma, right? Or when you heat with it. Um, biochar is made a little hotter, still in an oxygen-free environment. So that's why we use the bathtub. It's like 600 to 1,000 degrees Celsius is kind of the what you're aiming for. And that's the bathtub causes those steep sides. So it causes the oxygen to shoot up the sides and then it pulls the oxygen out. Activated carbon is technically what we made if we wanted to get you know crazy technical about it because the difference between biochar and activated carbon is just that it was activated either physically or chemically. Physically would be using steam, which we do when we quench it, right? That blasts out any extra little carbon dusts that's in there and creates more surface area. You can use chemicals to do the same thing. Uh, but the deal why you might worry about adding nutrients is because when you apply biochar or activated carbon, or even to a less extent charcoal out in a field or in your garden, is that you've now created so much more space for, you know, pore space and everything for the, uh, the microflora and fauna in your soil to thrive, right? And so what we get is we get this big boom of growth. And so they're going to eat up all the extra nutrients around them in the soil while they're doing that, which then when they die, they'll return it. But there's always going to be more pore space. So there's more, they will always be using a little bit more of it. Um, for us, I don't worry about applying it in in this charcoal that we then apply out to our fields or even in our garden beds because we are constantly in our garden beds applying compost so we're adding nutrients to it out in the field we use pigs so we run pastured pig operation so they're constantly pooping out here in the field right i have more nutrients in my field we're technically using this kind of as a remediation strategy so they poop out in the field and there's a lot of them we're on six acres so what my goal is there's a wet weather creek that runs through doesn't often have water but when it does it really flows through so our goal is is to use the biochar to catch all of that extra nutrients that are already in our soil and stop it from running off into everybody else's streams and creeks and fields